In this video, we will learn to convert decimal numbers to binary. In an earlier video, we learned binary numbers in a little more depth. That video also shows how to convert binary to decimal. If you haven't watched that video, I urge you to watch that one first because, like I said, it goes into a lot more detail. I will put a link in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started with an easy one. Let's convert the decimal number 64 into a binary number. You'll see in just a few minutes why I say this is an easy one to convert. We will begin by jotting down our binary place values. If you're not familiar with binary place values, watch the video I mentioned earlier on understanding binary numbers, which is linked in the description below. Our first place value is 1, which you'll see here. With binary numbers, each place value is double the place value before it. So our next va place value is 2. Once again, we double the place value to get our next place value, which is 4. If we continue our place values, we eventually reach place value 64. That's why I said converting from decimal number 64 to binary is an easy one. If the decimal number is the same as one of the place values, all you have to do is put a 1 in that place and then zeros for the remaining places. So decimal number 64 converted to binary is 1000000. Now let's take one that is a little more challenging. Let's convert the decimal number 135 into binary. Once again, we're going to start by finding our binary place values. You may be asking how many place values we need. Well, the answer is we need the highest place value that is not larger than the number we are trying to convert. Again, we start with 1 for our first place value. Now continue adding place values by doubling the previous place value. The reason we stopped at 128 is because if we double 128, our next place value is going to be 256. And 256 is larger than the number that we are converting which is the decimal number 135. So now look at the largest place value that we have here, 128. Since that number is less than 135, I should say less than or equal to 135, we put a 1 in that place and then subtract 128 from our number 135. So we put a 1 in that place, and then we subtract 128, which is our place value, from our number 135, and that leaves us with a remainder of 7. So now we take our remainder of 7, and we check it against the next place value, which is 64. 64 is larger than 7, so we're going to pl put a 0 in that place. So now we go to our next place and we check 7 against that. Again, 32 is larger than 7, so we put a 0 in that place. We continue that process with each place value. If the place value is larger than 7, we put a 0 in that place. 16 is larger than 7, and 8 is larger than 7. So we're going to go ahead and put zeros in those places as well. Now we get to place value 4, which is less than or equal to 7. So if it is less than or equal to 7, we do the same thing we did for when we were at 128. So we're going to put a 1 there, and then we're going to take the number 4, 
which is our place value, and subtract it from 7. And that's going to leave us with the remainder of 3. So now with that remainder of 3, we do the same thing we did with the 7. We go down to the next place value. If it is less than or equal to 3, we're going to put a 1 in that place and then subtract that place value from that number 3. So we put a 1 there because 2 is less than or equal to 3. And then we subtract 2 from 3 and that leaves us with a remainder of 1. So now we do the same thing. We compare the 1 to our place value. It's less than or equal to. In this case, it's equal. So we put a 1 there, subtract 1 from our remainder, which was 1, and that leaves us with a 0. When you have a 0 remainder, you're done. So the decimal number 135 converted to binary is 1000011. One. Now let's double check our answer using the table that we've created. Here's how you do it. For each column that has a binary digit of 1, so that's this one, this one, this one, and this one, you're just going to bring down your place value. Now we're going to add those numbers together and we should get 135. And we do. So that's all there is to it. I hope this video has been helpful. If you found any value in this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe. Thanks for watching.